In our last episode, we hiked the John Steinbeck Canyon and found a whale shark in Puerto Escondido. This time around, we explored Laredo and paddleboard with dolphins at Isla Coronados. Nice pelican landed on our Windex. So Brenda's up there straightening it out. And after the Windex was fixed, we did a quick rig check to make sure everything was in good shape. And then we left Puerto Escondido behind. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Got some shade? Yeah, it's hot today. These fishermen out here caught some fish. We left Puerto Escondido this morning. We're looking at these carrying Oh, a frigate bird just caught a fish. Pretty cool. So, anyways, we left Puerto Escondido. And now we're going to Laredo, which we've never been to, which is kind of cool, because we love new stuff. Sailing right along, we got uh, eight or nine knots of breeze. Just the spinnaker out, we're doing about four knots. So, nice and easy, comfy. I just caught a fish. Mm -hmm. We haven't caught any fish, because Brenda's been slacking. Whew, it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. I don't think I've ever been so sweaty. Except in Kiribati, but we were on the equator and it was about 100% humidity. This is desert, zero humidity, just blazing inferno. Hot, 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 it's hot. So we're going to Laredo and we're just gonna anchor off the town. There's no real anchorage there. It's a, what they call a roadstead means there's zero protection from anything. So if wind or waves pick up, we'll just pick up the anchor and go somewhere else. But the forecast is for pretty light wind, zero seas. So it should be all right for us to be there for a day or two, which is good because we need some fresh veggies. We're out. Rice and beans is getting old. Well, this is Laredo. Gonna go into town, check it out. And if we have to leave, if it gets too rough, right, right back there, there's uh, protected anchorages on that island. So if it's too rough, we'll pick up anchor and go. So we hopped in the dinghy and we were off. On the hunt for groceries. Desperation mode. And on the way to find groceries, well, of course, I've got to have a little snack. Ice cream. It's cooking hot. Laredo was founded in 1697, which makes it a pretty interesting place to roam around and check out some of the old architecture. After we loaded up our backpacks with food and supplies, we made our way back to the boat to unload and then quickly turned around and went back to town to cool off. Found a restaurant with AC. Amazing. We're never leaving. Nope. But sadly, they eventually kicked us out. So the next morning, we got up with the sun, hoping to check out the town before the heat set in. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Today is bike day. Got the biker gang. Because it's hot. We're going to beat the heat with a little breeze. Already a sweaty mess. Our little folding bikes, well, they come in pretty handy sometimes. And in Laredo, they were just about perfect. We could see some of the sights and get a little breeze along the way. Brent has got ice water. I don't have ice water. Nobody even told me we had ice. This place was built in 1740. The site is from 1697. Been around a long time. Pretty 
school. I don't have any of these old buildings where I come from. An old building in Seattle is about 100 years old. Not 300 years old. We checked out the historical sites and just put a handful of miles on the bikes while roaming around town. What is this? With all of that pedaling, I was getting pretty hungry and was on the hunt for food. Oh, Chinese food, I love Chinese food. It's closed. Everything is closed today, it's Sunday. This place has the most green we've seen in all of Baja. Palm trees everywhere. All I want is breakfast. Everything's closed. Everything. But luckily for us, right next to the big old hotel, there was a great little restaurant that was open. Found breakfast. And they gave us some fans because we're sweaty messes. Huevos de corsado. Pretty tasty. Hit the spot. Now it's back to the blazing heat. Blazing heat. Made it. I'm sweaty. Yep. Saw the city. Saw the whole thing. The bikes were the ticket. Now that we saw the whole city, it's time to go. Go somewhere else. Gonna ride your bike out there. We're done. And the weather's supposed to change tomorrow, tonight actually. So we'll get out of this little anchorage while the getting's good. From Laredo, we made the couple hour hop over to Puerto Balandra, where we'd hoped to spend a couple of days. But unfortunately, the bees and the mosquitoes, well, they had something else in mind for us. So after a night at anchor, we got up with the sun and we were out of there. Well, this is Puerto Balandra. We're not sticking around here. It wasn't the bees yesterday, it was the mosquitoes all night. We got screens on the hatches, but they were ruthless. So today, we're out of here. It's supposed to be some breeze coming uh, mid-morning. We're not waiting. We're gone. So I'm gonna motor up somewhere else and get out while the getting's good before the bees show up again. There were wasps all over the place yesterday. Couldn't shake them. So we were off to Isla Coronados. Well, we're just about to Isla Coronados. It's a pretty easy, short little hop today, just um, about 10 miles and zero wind. So motor fest, but it's hot, hot, hot. But it's beautiful out. We're motoring through this little channel right now that's about, about 30, 35 feet deep. And you can see the bottom crystal clear, which is kind of cool. That's about it. Be anchored in just a few minutes. And then it'll be time for a swim. After cooling off with a quick swim, we grabbed our friends from Ripple, loaded up the paddle boards, and then we quickly found these guys. Boarding with dolphins. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and Ben from Ripple, well, he was going hardcore. He went and grabbed his mask, fins, and snorkel, and he was trying to swim with dolphins. Do you see him at all underwater? There's been quite a few experiences during our time in Mexico that we won't soon forget. And I have to say, 
Paddleboarding with dolphins, well, it's right near the top. Just had a whale shark encounter, and now we're paddleboarding with dolphins. Pretty cool. After the dolphins left the bay, we made our way to shore to check out the island. Isla Coronados is part of Mexico's national park system. It not only has some pretty amazing beaches, it's got a dormant volcano and some pretty great hiking trails. It's our kind of place. Pretty cool. Lava rocks. Brenda didn't bring shoes, so I'm going alone. Got a volcano back there. It's a trail that leads to the top. We were actually going to do that this morning, but I slept in. Don't really want to do that in the afternoon because it's way too hot. So tomorrow, got to get my butt out of bed, which surprisingly isn't that easy to do. I used to do it all the time. I used to get up at five o'clock, four thirty. Anymore. Now I can't get up earlier than nine. What's happened to me? Okay, that's about as far as I'm going. Check out the rest of the island tomorrow. But something sort of amazing here. Everything always seems dead. There's no rain, dry as a bone. And then you get these little blooms on something that appears dead. Beautiful. Next morning, the team was off to climb to the top of the volcano. And as Margot will tell you, sometimes the top of the volcano just isn't gonna happen. Sometimes when it's balls hot out, you just make your own top. <laughs> so on that day, halfway up was the top. It's too hot. It's time for a haircut. And that's about it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.